Hi, so the objective of uh, this video is to give you a couple of very basic thumb rules when, when you are deciding the fonts for an emailer or a web design. You know, there, as marketers, we don't tend to get into this, but uh, it's there are just these two very basic rules, which if you follow, you will see that the quality of the overall appeal of the e email designs or the website designs, uh, as the case may be, would be far better, right? So before we get into this, the first thing that you need to understand is that there are two kinds of fonts. One are the uh the the serif fonts and the sans serif fonts right so the serif fonts are the ones which have this uh additional strokes which uh which you can see here which give a, a uh, this kind of accentuation which gives a character to the font and the sans serif font uh, fonts are the plain ones right so there is no uh, uh, you know there are no strokes at the end so the if you look at uh, these are some examples of um, serif fonts so there's georgia times new roman these are the ones which you know you would have come across and sans serif you have arial tahoma these are the sans uh, serif fonts right now the first uh, thumb rule is that uh, if you have a, a chunk of text which is okay let me see so if you have this uh, uh, chunk of text right so this for example this is a is a mailer which is uh, where you know you don't have to really strain your eyes a lot to read this text right because it is short it's a short piece of text so in these cases uh, generally marketers i mean generally designers use the uh, sans serif font so as you can see this is an example of a sans serif font right whereas if you look at uh, this one right so there are, this is not one chunk of text this is um, uh, you know this is there are two paras here right so generally when you have a few paras then in the body you would uh, tend to use uh, uh, serif fonts right which you can see uh, if you let me just try and uh, see if you can zoom in right so if you zoom in you will see that this is a, there is a accentuation at the end of the font so this is an example of a serif font so the takeaway is this that Uh, brands choose a uh, serif font for body text in mails with longer blocks of text and uh, but for emails which are short bursts of text it is better to choose a sans serif font right like like this one yeah so that's that's the first thumb rule with respect to selecting fonts and uh, the other thumb rule is to kind of mix and match right so uh, and let me just give you uh, an example. So the, the the idea is that you have to mix and match the the header font and the font which is there in the body, right? So if, for example, you use a uh, sans serif font in the header, which is the case right now, you can use a, a serif font in the body of the mailer. This is just to create a uh, little, little diversity in the design, which leads to a better overall impact. Right. So those those were the two thumb rules with respect to selecting the fonts. You have to, of course, know what the serif fonts and the sans serif fonts are, and then you can use this uh, these two rules to choose the fonts in either your emailer design or your uh, web design mailer. Thanks.